Now, a potential game changer for schools, care homes and offices is being developed by the UK business, the Technology Partnership. Co-test allows large groups to be screened for coronaviruses without the need for specialists to take the swab. The new testing technology is set to be cheap, quick, able to test 40 people in as little as 30 minutes for the same cost as one standard test. Well, Douglas Bradshaw is head of healthcare at the Technology Partnership, which has created Co-test. Douglas, good morning to you. I gather you can show me how this works. Good morning, yes I can. I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, if I may, just a little bit of context. Um, so I guess everyone's very aware of the good news about uh, success in phase three um, of the vaccines. But the reality is that we're going to be living with testing through 2021 uh, and perhaps even uh, testing may become part of the new normal. Um, so whilst uh, the, the, the test and trace activity led by the government has increased um, the, the capacity of the, of the country uh, for testing. There's going to be a need for rapid testing in schools, in sports venues, and perhaps in, um, uh, in sort of airports and what have you. Um, and it's going to be important these tests can be carried out by people who aren't uh, healthcare providers or trained. So what TTP has developed in co-test um, is a test based on, it's not on a blood sample uh, and it's not based on a swab that one has to put far up one's nose uh, or, or far into the back of one's throat. And it's simply based on one of these sponges for collecting saliva. So one pops in one's mouth, a couple of seconds uh, to capture saliva. And then I don't know if you can see the screen behind me, but you, you pop it in a cartridge um, for anything up to 40 people. Uh, and then that cartridge, when you've collected the samples, goes into a device. Uh, and the time from sample to answer is, is 30, 35 minutes. Well, amen to not having something shoved up your nose. I must admit, uh, I haven't found that too pleasant. I mean, a lot of people suggest that pool testing uh, can quite often uh, lead to false negatives. What would you say to that? Yeah, so that is a challenge when you're, when you're looking for a very small sample size of positives. So there are, there are existing strategies for pool testing where uh, rather than taking the whole sample, one just takes a, a small part, uh, maybe 5%, 10%, of the samples being collected. And that's one of the reasons why uh, the test becomes less accurate. What TTP has developed in, in co-test is a way in where we keep all of um, the viral material from that original sample. Um, so we don't lose any of the accuracy. We then combine that, uh, concentrate it down into a sample uh, of anything up to 40 people. So we're, we're maintaining all of the sample. We're still using the gold standard uh, of one of the various uh, amplification technologies um, for for the virus material, um, so we can uh, effectively remove those false positives. And how far off are you from launching this? So we're at the prototype stage. Um, well, TTP is was part of the response to COVID has been developing prototypes, prototypes whether it's ventilators as part of the ventilator challenge uh, or as part of testing technologies. We've demonstrated we can move very rapidly from, from prototypes to products. Um, we are looking to manufacture products in the early part of 2021. Um, we're, we're building a, we already have a, a collaboration, a number of partners, uh, and we're, we're in the early stages of commercial negotiations um, for, for partners to commercialise this. I would say in the latter part of 2021, uh, these products can be in, in schools, uh, at airports, uh, at sporting venues, uh, theatres and cinemas. So you're after a commercial partner, you've, or you have a manufacturing partner already? Um, but as with the ventilator challenge, we're looking for the best partners. Um, so we, we explored a number of options there and in, in the end uh, selected Dyson as our manufacturing partner. And, and so it is with Cotest, um, both manufacturing partners, there are ongoing discussions, uh, and commercial partners, uh, those, those are ongoing also. Of course, we'd always, uh, we'd always welcome further conversations. All right, Douglas, very good to talk to you. We'll have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much.